Greetings Earthlings! Welcome back to my channel, the only Lauren channel. I am the Lauren of this channel. And welcome back to another exciting and riveting episode in the series I like to call Astro World. And today we will we will be addressing the moon in Astro World. And I decided to go the poetic route as far as giving you this information um, and exploring the solar system. So instead of going Sun, Mercury, Earth, Sun, Mercury, Venus, <laughs> Earth, Mars, or Earth, Moon, Mars, um, Jupiter, Jupiter's moons, Saturn, Saturn's moons, um, Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto at planet at, it's all astro, so, you know, Pluto's included. Um, instead of doing that with, with those, I, I decided to go the poetic route, and so I just said, you know, the most important um celestial body actually being earth first if we want to get technical and then sun being the next one and then the moon being the next one because like the three do the thing where they simultaneously keep us alive all at once so that is the plan for that and so basically that so the first thing I want to address when talking about the moon is what it is it's a satellite that is in orbit so just like a regular satellite it is hollow it resonates and let's go into the definition the formal definition of satellite and we can get into the etymology of a satellite and then we'll get into the name of the moon and some of the classifications and features about the moon that is worth learning and talking about. So a satellite is an artificial object which has been intentionally placed into orbit. There is an atmospheric satellite, non-orbital manned aerial vehicle, UAV that operates in the atmosphere at high altitudes for long extended periods of time and our traditional communication satellites and a natural weak satellite is an orbiting object non-man-made not in orbit around the sun or another star a moon so um, when I first looked up the, the definition of satellite, I only saw the first one. It didn't give a, ha it didn't have a definition for a natural satellite. Wink. And so when you go to look up the etymology of the word satellite, its definition is as follows. A follower or attendant of a superior. From the Latin, a satellinium, an attendant. Upon a distinguished person, a bodyguard, courtier, or assistant. An accomplice, an accessory, um, and they think it's of Etruscan origin, satinel, climb, compound root of satro, full enough, plus to go. So basically meaning a planet that revolves around a large one. And the word moon, as in the most plain terms, is a heavenly body which revolves around the earth monthly. And I talked about this in my hum, mu, hum moon video, wave particle duality, that a mountain and a man in the moon are all in the same category of individuals but probably in tears, kind of like archangels. So what about the moon also? That is its 
scientific definition is a gravity rounded astronomical body of planetary mass rocky silicate composition without a significant atmosphere hydrosphere or magnetic field our moon obviously is orbiting planet earth and is the fifth largest moon in this solar system which is the only solar system we know of the alternative names for the moon are luna cynthia and selena with cynthia selena and luna being poetic its epoch is about j2000 and these are the orbital characteristics i'm giving you the orbital characteristics currently the perigee is 300,062 kilometers i don't think i said that right the apogee is 405 thousand four hundred kilometers the semi-major axis 38 or 399 kilometers the eccentricity is 0 0.0549 the orbital period is 27.3 i'm minimizing that days which just means 30 days around the earth the synodic, synodic period is 29.5 days, most of it is the same. The average orbital speed is 1.022 kilometers per second. The inclination is to be paranoid. Just kidding. The inclination is 5.145 to the ecliptic. The longitude of the ascending node is regressing by one revolution every 18.61 years. The argument of the perigee is progressing one by every 8.85 years. And it's a satellite of Earth. You already knew that. Some of the physical characteristics about the moon. The mean radius is 1.74 kilometers of Earth's. The equatorial radius is 1.7 set one seven three eight one kilometers the polar radius is one seven three six kilometers the flattening zero point zero one two the circumference is one zero nine one two kilometers the surface area is three point seven nine two times 10 to the 7 kilometers squared. The volume is 2.193 times 10 to the 10 kilometers cubed. The mass is 7.342 times 10 to the 22 kilogram. The mean density is 3.34 grams centimeters cubed. The surface gravity is 1.6 two meters per second squared the moment of inertia 0 0.39 equatorial rotation velocity 4.6 meters per second axle tilt 1.54 to the ecliptic north pole right ascension seven hours 47 minutes and 26 seconds more north pole declina declination 65.6 degrees albedo 0 0.136 surface temperature is at the equator that is 100 kelvin 250 kelvin mean and 390 kelvin max and 300 kelvin on average is room temperature so i think it doesn't get much higher than room temperature. The apparent magnitude is negative 2.5 to about negative 12.9. The angular diameter is about 29.3 to 34.1 arc minute. The atmosphere surface pressure is 10 to the negative 7 pascal and the composition by volume meaning everything it's made up of is helium, argon, I don't know what any is or NA. Is that nickel? Nice, 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 nitrogen. I'll look it up later. 
no put it. K hydrogen and iron rhodium milenum. Um and so just to finish up about the moon a little bit more and I hope I'm I'm pretty sure you guys already know this is that the moon is tidal locked with Earth's rotation or is it the rotation or the revolution the revolution so one side always faces us as it revolves around the earth in its 30 day period and that's all i have to say on the moon for now um i could do a part two on the moon it's really cool i think it's really simple to understand it's kind of soft nature you know and you want to learn more about it as opposed to just saying like uh what's a random one people wouldn't necessarily like be interested in mercury sorry so um like this video and subscribe and share it amongst your friends share the video and buy my book quintessence available for purchase and I'll see you earthlings later. Bye.